Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Outrage Studio Pro. Uh, this is less of a tutorial and more of a demonstration for someone over at the Outrage forums. Uh, she's asking about how to uh, import one of my sticker sprays for the uh, perspective line grid and uh, basically just wants to know how to do that and use it. Okay, so that's what this is going to cover. Now, this is the Outrage forums page. Uh, I'm going to provide a link to this in the uh, description of this video. Uh, you can also go to the artrage.com forums and uh, just do a search for comic book odds and ends by someone sane and you should find this one immediately. Uh, the very first post, about halfway through it, you'll find the perspective line grid maker and that includes two files that you'll need. The first file is perspective lines.stk. That's the sticker file. Uh, the second one is perspective lines.prs. That's the preset for the sticker spray tool, which utilizes the sticker spray. Okay, so that's why you need both. What you want to do is right click on the first link and select Save Link As or Equivalent on the Mac. I'm not sure exactly what it says, but it'll be something similar to that. And you want to save that to your system. I'm going to save it into a tutorial folder because that'll make it easier for me to find in a minute. You can save it to your desktop, uh, which should make it pretty easy for you to find. Uh, now you want to right click on the second link. Again, select Save Link As, and save that to your computer as well. Okay, so at this point I'm going to go ahead and open up ArtRage. And uh, the first thing we want to do is open stickers, All right, uh, the sticker panel rather. So I'm just going to go over here and click on the stickers pod. Okay, and that will open up my sticker sheet panel. And uh, you kind of want to keep things organized. Um, you can import new stickers into some of the default folders here, but I would definitely suggest creating your own for downloaded stickers and presets and everything. So to do that, just click on Add Group real quick and give it a name like uh, Downloaded Stickers. Click OK or hit Enter like I did, and it will add that in. Okay, and you can see I have an empty group now. Uh, so we're ready to import the sticker. And to do that, we're going to click this middle button. It says Import Stickers. Just left click on that. And as you can see, it brought me to my uh, folder already. You may need to browse to it. Uh, it may be on your desktop. Okay, It'll be wherever you saved it. Just go ahead and find it. Click on it and select Open. And it will import that in. Now, it might look like it's empty. All right, So if you click on it, you can see it brings up the panel here. And it doesn't look like there's anything there. Don't worry about it. It's because it's a really thin line. Uh, it might not look like it's there, but it definitely is. And like I said, it's made to be used with the sticker spray tool, uh, so you'll never actually be using this panel for it. All right, so I'm going to close that out. And at this point, we want to go ahead and select the uh, sticker spray tool down here on the left. Okay, so I gave that a click, and I'm going to click on the presets panel right here. Okay, so here's my preset panel. All of the previous sticker spray uh, presets are in here. Okay, these are all default. Again, if you want, you can create a group for your own uh, sticker sprays that you've downloaded. Uh, I would suggest doing that. And to do that, you want to click on this menu button here and locate Add Preset Group and give that a click. And again, just call it something like a Downloaded Presets. Click OK and it'll automatically create that group and bring you into it. Okay, so to find it again in the future, you'll find it on this list. You just click on group and select it. It'll be down here on the bottom. Okay, downloaded presets. All right. With your group created, click on the menu tab and select uh, import preset to collection. Okay, that'll open up your window. And what you want to do is again browse to wherever you saved your file. Okay, mine was in the tutorial folder, so here it is. It'll end in .prs. Uh, if you have your extensions shown, I should uh, say. If, if you don't have your extensions shown, just look for pre, uh, perspective lines. and Down here at the bottom, you should see it says preset. Okay, uh, Just left click on that and click open. And there it is. It's imported it for us. Uh, and now it's ready to use. All right, so if you select that, Okay, and then left click on your canvas and hold that button down. You are ready to start creating your grid. 
Alright, so you can see it's going around and just plotting those lines for us. And you can find another point on that. Uh, click again, hold the button down, and there you go. You're starting to have two point perspective already. Uh, I would suggest having those a little bit further apart, but just for the sake of showing it to you, uh, I did it real close. I'd probably do it off the screen if I were you. But uh, so that's it. You should be ready to go ahead and start drawing. Uh, good luck.